Hi there. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is Julie DiMatteo from thepaperpixie.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful fold flat gift box that is sized perfectly to fit one of the Bath & Body Works travel size lotion or shower gels. So this is the body lotion, it's the three ounce, and this box fits that perfectly. So I love this box, let me show you while I have it open, that it folds flat. This is a great gift box to have on hand. You can store them flat, and when you're ready to gift them to someone, just go ahead and put your lotion in there. I've got a Velcro dot closure here, and then I just finished it off with a little bit of stamping and a little bow. So I love how this turned out, and I wanna show you how easy it is to make. I want to give a shout out to fellow German demonstrator Connie Richter for this awesome idea. I resized her version to fit the Bath & Body Works body lotion. Thank you so much, Connie, for the inspiration. I love what this box looks like. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got a piece of soft seafoam cardstock that measures seven and a half inches by eight and a half inches. Along the seven and a half inch side, I'm going to score this at one and a quarter, three and a quarter, four and a half, and six and a half. I'm gonna rotate it clockwise and we're gonna score this on the eight and a half inch side at three quarters, two, six and a half, and seven and three quarters. Next, I'm gonna fold and burnish on all the score lines. Okay, now let me bring in a quick template here. You'll notice when you have it in landscape mode that this section at the top is slightly narrower than the section at the bottom. So this, I want you to remember, is gonna be the little flap or the top of the box, okay? We're gonna consider this one, which is an inch and a quarter, to be one of the sides of the box. This is the top lid. So just pay attention to that as we do some cutting away. I'm actually gonna turn the template upside down because that's kind of how my brain works as I cut pieces away. So I'm gonna come in two score lines and cut up two score lines. And with the way this box goes together, I'm gonna to recommend that we cut away the score lines. So cut just to the side of the score line. Just gonna give us a nicer finish on the box. Then I'm gonna turn it 90 degrees, and again, coming in two score lines and up two score lines. We're really removing these corner four sections, like so, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing to the opposite side, so in two, up two. Turning it a quarter turn, in two, up two. Like that, all right? So if we're looking at it from this direction, now we're gonna remove these little rectangles that are now in the corners here. And again, I'm gonna remove the score line. And we're gonna repeat that in all four of these little corner rectangles. All right, like so, it's starting to look like our template here. Now I'm gonna bring in my take your pick tool. I've got the stylus attachment on there. And let me show you in the template. Ignore these little squiggly lines. That's just to let you know where the adhesive is gonna go. But what we're gonna do is in these four outside squares now, we're gonna score on the diagonal from corner to corner. So I like to just take a ruler. I start my stylus right where I want that score line to start. Then I bring the ruler to it and we'll score at the diagonal here. And we're gonna do that to all four of these squares. All right, like so, I think you can see those diagonals. So this diagonal score lines are kind of going outwards. All right, so using the detailed trio punch, we're gonna go ahead and round some corners here. So I'm gonna start with the two corners on this box flap, like so. And then we're gonna round the corners on these little exterior tabs here. Now with this, I like to fold those kind of out of the way so I can get a good position here in the punch. And now that is looking a lot like our template here. I will have a picture of this template on my detailed blog post. All right, now before we assemble this, we're gonna go ahead and adhere some designer series paper. 
It's much easier to do it now. We're gonna be using the Garden Lane Designer Series paper. I love the greens and the whites in this paper. We're gonna be using this muted pattern here. Now, I've got quite a few pieces here, the largest of which measures one and seven eighths inches by four and three eighths. That is going to go on our box lid. I then have two pieces that measure one and one eighth by four and three eighths. And those are gonna go on the front and the back of the box. Then I have two pieces that measure one and one eighth by one and seven eighths. Those are gonna go on the sides. And then I've got this narrower piece that is seven eighths by four and three eighths. I'm gonna bring in the detailed trio punch again and we're gonna round two of the corners. Like so. And that is going to fit on the box flap right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere these using multi-purpose liquid glue. I'll speed it up for you. Okay, now if you wanted to, you could put a panel here on the bottom, but I opted to save some designer series paper. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is just pinch on where we did those score lines with my index finger, middle finger, and thumb. And just pinch those into the box. And then you can come in and reinforce those if you want. All right, now I've left the template out because I wanna show you where we're gonna put the adhesive. These little squiggly lines is where we're gonna put adhesive. It's the triangles that are right next to or have the straight edge on the front and back panels. I hope that that makes sense. So I'm actually gonna put liquid glue on all four spaces. So again, I think you can see those. And then I'm just gonna fold the sides in. And then I'm just gonna come in with the bone folder and just reinforce or burnish the areas where we put the adhesive. And then watch the magic happen here as you fold up the front and the back. The glue is right where we want it to go, but this box can fold flat. How cool is that? Love that. All right, so let's go ahead. I've got some Velcro Thin Clear Fasteners. They are 5 eighths of an inch in diameter. I got these on Amazon. I'll include a link to that in my detailed blog post. And when I get these, I actually put both the male and female or the hook and loop sides together so that they're always ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off two of these. What I like to do is put the loop side on the lid and the hook side on the box. So I'm gonna start with the loop side, which is the whiter one. The clear one is the hook. And I'm gonna go ahead and stick these down. Okay, now I can peel off the other backing. I'm gonna go ahead and put the body lotion in the box to kind of help me line everything up. And then we're just gonna go ahead and close the box and that's gonna put those Velcro dots right where we want them to go. Now we can go ahead and open the box and then I like to just press those Velcro dots into place. But how cute is that? I love how you can make a whole bunch of these ahead of time, fold them flat, and then when there's a sale at Bath & Body Works, you stock up on them and then the boxes are ready to go. So let's go ahead and close off the box. Love that. You could also do a belly band, you could do magnets, you could punch a little hole here and run a ribbon through it. Lots of different ways you can close this box and so many things that can fit inside of it. Uh, on my Facebook Live this week, one of my followers recommended saltwater taffy. I thought that was a great idea. I can fill it with chocolates, gifts, all kinds of things. So let's do a little bit of decorating. We're gonna be using the Free as a Bird bundle. I love this stamp set. We're gonna use the sentiment, your friendship means the world to me. It comes bundled with the stitched nested labels. And I've already pre-cut a piece from Soft Sea Foam from the second smallest piece. All right, we're gonna stamp the sentiment in Mossy Meadow onto Whisper White. And we're gonna die cut the sentiment. Then using liquid glue, I'm gonna go ahead and glue these two pieces together. Then I'm gonna glue this to the top of our box. 
Then using this beautiful ribbon from the Magnolia Lane Combo Pack, we're gonna go ahead and tie a bow. There we have it, a beautiful fold flat gift box for one of the Bath & Body Works travel size body lotions or body washes. I love how this turned out. I love how many other things you could fit in this box as well. It's a great gift box size and how cool that it folds flat. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss my next video. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Stampin' Up! products I used today, they'll be linked in the description. And I'll also include a link to my detailed blog post with all project details, measurements, and a picture of the template. I'd love to have you come visit me at thepaperpixie.com where I post projects every weekday to inspire you. I have options to subscribe to both my monthly newsletter as well as my daily blog updates, and I'd love to welcome you as a new subscriber. You can shop with me anytime at thepaperpixie.com shop. And if you're interested in a discount on your Stampin' Up! purchases, the starter kit is the ultimate bundle, and I'd love to welcome you to my team of Paper Pixies. You can purchase the starter kit at thepaperpixie.com join. If you don't already have a demonstrator and you'd like a complimentary copy of one of our catalogs, you can submit a catalog request at thepaperpixie.com catalogs. And if you give this project a try, I'd love to see what you made, so feel free to share it on social media with the hashtag paperpixie, and I'll be sure to check it out. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Take care. Bye.